Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and brew the compost tea, the Organic Thrive compost tea. This is a 24-ounce package. Right now, there's exactly 12 ounces left in it because we did a brew earlier, and uh, this will be our second brew for today. Uh, so I know I have exactly 12 ounces left in the package. I measured it. All right. Um, so what we did is basically we're going to stir this just for a minute just to... Um, you know, show you that you want to do this after you put the tea in there. Uh, we do not use a uh, bag, no mesh bag, no nylon bag, no burlap bag, no nylon stockings. We don't use anything. You don't need to, in our opinion, that's not required. What's required is good organic compost tea. This particular compost tea is worm castings um, fortified with moringa leaf powder, and uh, the worms are fed a very diverse diet of. Um, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, organic materials that they break down, and the biology is actually what breaks down the um, um, material, and they digest it, and it comes out as worm poop, black castings, or whatever you want to call it. But it's what we're going to do gold. then is we're going to go ahead and we're going to. I'm working with one hand, so bear with me. Our bags are high quality bag that has a nice met metalized interior there's zip lock so after you're done you can just after you open it you peel it up here pull it across and then you can re reuse reseal the bag okay the in the instructions the instructions are right on the label so four ounces to a gallon there's three gallons of water as I said earlier, the entire package right now contains 12 ounces, so I don't have to measure anything. Just make sure we get it all in there. Okay. It's all in. This is why we do this. This is only just for a minute, maybe a little less. Make sure your stick is hitting the bottom. Look at this. We already have some foaming. Just with a little bit of aeration, we already have some foaming. Foaming is good. Too much foaming is not good. Okay? If you end up, after you start brewing this, and you have way too much foam building up, um, you cut back on the airflow and uh, you then add um, a little teeny little teaspoon of um, vegetable oil in order to control the amount of uh, foaming that's going to occur. 12 hours is your typical brew time. Some people brew longer. They brew as long as 24 hours. Uh, we've had success with just a couple of hours. R really, just a couple of hours of brewing. Uh, you're going to create um, a nice diversity of uh, organisms uh, that can provide uh, the plants with the uh, uh, beneficial biology that uh, the soil, actually, the soil needs. Again, I'll just give this a quick little stir. You can see it dissolves very nicely. And we haven't even attached the air pump yet. So now here comes the fun part next. As you can see, yeah, we're getting, uh, it's been going for about an hour now. And we're starting to see some aeration with the bubbles forming. We're brewing up some really, 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 really good This brewer here, here is uh, very simple, uh, very efficient, and very effective at uh, creating some unbelievable biology for the soil. We'll put the lid back on snap it shut. If you want to learn more about the uh, OT5 and about the Organic Thrive compost tea, just uh, send us a message, uh, leave a comment, give us a call, visit us at www.organicthrive.com. Take care. Happy gardening.